your AI generated image is looking like this while your friends are creating masterpieces? Fear not. I will show you how to borrow prompts from the very best. Now you might ask, but Seb, how do I find these prompts? Well, it so happens that a library of prompts has chosen to rain money down on me. Who am I to turn them down when they're providing a good service? And I can get a good meal out of it. All right, so what we have here is OpenArt, which is a library for prompts. And what's unique about OpenArt, you can actually create images here as well. But let's look at the prompts here first. When you get to OpenArt.ai, you can see just, you know, your regular images and, and the prompts that people have used to create that. Let's see if we can find something we can work with. Let's go Synthwave. Let's find something cool. Let's take, let's say, let's say we like this one here. So let's take this. Copy that. Now what you can do is you can put this either into your stable diffusion, like so. Let's change this into cat with a hat. And we're gonna make a couple of batches. And what we're getting here now is cats with hats and we have the respirator from the prompt before. And it's, you know, it's similar to what we had here. But uh, if you don't have a locally installed Stable Diffusion, then you can actually create your own images in OpenArt. Now it's on a credit-based system, but for now it's free. And you get uh, lots more credits than you did in, in like um, Dolly and Midjourney. So if you press this remix button here, you need to log in with Discord and you get 100 credits and, and each image consumes 0.1. So you get a thousand images. You can play around a lot with that. So we have the same prompt here. We can just change this into dog with crown. And again, let's make four images. And you have some of the same settings you have in your local stable diffusion. You have the width, the height, the scale, and the steps. Let's up the steps to 50 here. Let's create. And again, here you can see that you're getting a remix of the prompt that you started with. Now we have a dog with a crown instead of the cat with a hat, but we're still very close to the starting prompt, which uh, is this one. Now we don't have the same colors, but that can be fixed in the prompt. I like this one. This was pretty cool. You even have the upscaling option here in the same way as you have it in your local stable diffusion. So we're upscaling this. Now you're not getting all of the options that you have locally, but this is more for ease of use. And especially for you guys that don't have local installation or, or a computer that can handle it. So we have the image upscaled, downloading, and here we have it. Now you can also create images from scratch. If you're at the main page, just push the button here, create, and you're at, at the same page that we were previously. Change this to stable diffusion and write your prompt. So we have a fishing village next to the sea in a beautiful forest. as painted by Asher Brown Duran and Derek Zabrocki. Let's throw some volumetric lightning in there. God rays. Uh, and let's make a masterpiece. Well, at least we're trying, yeah? And trending an art station. So this is just something I threw together. Let's make uh, two of these and uh, see what we get. So yeah, this is pretty sweet. It's very close to the Asher Brown Duran style. And uh, if you like these images, you can also publish them to open art so that anyone else can see your prompt and what you've created. And that would help other users to um, find a prompt or image that they like and keep working with it. Now, a, th a thousand images goes a long ways already, but if you want to get more, you can join the Discord server and you get more daily free credits there. There's also the option of sending the invite link to your friends. You only get 10 credits each for that, but anyway, it's still decent. It's still 100 images. I'd recommend just going to the Discord server to get more daily free credits if you want that. Now, one more cool thing about OpenArt is they also have challenges, which I thought was pretty cool. Now they have a challenge is like a um, competition. So they have a couple active here. Now they have a Flora and Fauna and Beast, Dystopian Wasteland, Food Photography, Halloween, which is right up our alley now in October. So what you can do is you can create your own image and participate in their art challenges. And the winners here is get, uh, I think, 500 credits, 
which is 5,000 images. So, I mean, again, yes, it's capped, but if you don't have a computer that can run Stable Diffusion, it's a cool way to get started with it. So let's see if we can create something for this Halloween challenge. Let's create something from scratch. Okay, so I've written a prompt here that I actually haven't prepared at all. So we might get something totally crazy here or totally unusable. But let's see where it gets us and work from there. So we have a pumpkin ghost in the style of Tim Burton as painted by one of my favorites, Derek Sabrocki. I threw some random words in there. 3D Octane Render, Hyperrealism 8K, Trending an Art Station, Award-winning Epic Scene in Front of Haunted House and Cinematic Horror Scenery. Crepuscular Race, which is a fancy word for God Race. Volumetric, spooky, green and purple lighting, cinematic, dark, horror, fantasy, realistic. So a lot of, you know, just filler words to get the feeling in there. So this might end up going, I have I've no idea, to be honest. I have not a clue. So let's try. Yeah, let's see. Let's create four images and see where this gets us. Now, this is not as fast as your local stable diffusion if you have a good graphics card, but it's still fairly fast compared to uh, the majority of systems out there. Yeah, I think this is this is all right, but I think we can do better. Let's add um, with flaming eyes. Let's save this for now and add it just in case we don't get anything else that's cool. So let's create again. Now, I have no idea what a pumpkin ghost is, but I figured it might be cool. Yeah, this is pretty Tim Burton-y. I think the other ones are a little too painted. I think we're gonna remove Derek Sabrocki. We're gonna keep the renders and the hyperrealism and stuff there. Let's see what that gets us. Let's create again. Hey, <laughs> this is spooky. It's like a horror tree with a pumpkin on top. Yeah. That's pretty Tim Burton. Oh, a pumpkin cyclops. I think we're gonna scrap the pumpkin. And add some ghost wizard, maybe. With flaming eyes casting spells. Let's remove Tim Burton, it didn't give me the results I wanted. Let's create some new ones. Meh, meh. Let's go back, let's add uh, concept art, deal painting. Let's get Derek back in there. Uh, let's get the Octane render out. And let's remove the 3D stuff and the renders. Let's add in a Halloween here. Let's try again. This is pretty creepy. Man, I wish I had some image to image right now. I could rework some of these. Maybe we can publish that one. Let's create a new batch just for the fun of it. So we can have three submissions. Now I don't expect any of these to win actually, but uh, I mean, it's cool to just create something and put up there to show you guys. After all, I'm getting paid good noodle money for this. Yeah, that's pretty spooky. It's all decent. I'll just add this up there. And there we go. So this is a sort of an introduction to open art. And if you need to um, find prompts to use yourself, you can go here, search for what you want or take part in some of their challenges. Oh man, this porcelain thing was pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, thanks for um, checking the video out. And, um, you know, if you liked it, liked it. If you didn't, well, no one's forcing you. See ya.